movementunes.com, the number one site for positive music downloading. So let's talk about some of the costs associated with an average household putting up solar panels and a battery inverter and all of that. Now mm -hmm. I, I know that there's big debates about the cost and I know that there have been a lot of breakthroughs to mm -hmm. get the cost for solar mm -hmm. uh, energy down. Um, but also I haven't seen too many initiatives that have to do with uh, leasing um, solar panels or um, paying installment payments on solar panels and getting the banks involved in that just how like someone might buy a car you don't buy the car all out front mm -hmm. you pay monthly installments and possibly you just own it after five years mm -hmm. um, what do you see about the possibility of programs like that so that we can start dealing with some of the costs yeah well Energen is actually working on stuff like that but what we've done is that we approach our business from a social entrepreneurship perspective. Mm -hmm. What social entrepreneurship perspective means is that we are not driven out of pure profit. Mm -hmm. uh, we, we use a business framework to deliver a social objective. Yeah. So on, on that end, uh, basically, we keep our costs um, very, very, very low in comparison to what's on the market. Because as a social entre entrepreneurship company, as opposed to your market being 75%, our market maybe 20, mm -hmm. 25%. The other thing we do is um, we pass on like our duties directly to our customer, mm -hmm. right? So, so, so there's ways that we help empower the customer to be able to uh, afford it. Now, right now, a price, the price per watt in Barbados install is around $14 per watt. Okay. Yeah. So, if you got a thousand watt system, which is a one kilowatt system, it's talking about maybe fourteen thousand dollars, which comes out to about seven thousand U.S. Seven thousand U.S. And then the Barbados government gives you um, some significant tax incentives, incentives as well. And you get five thousand dollars per year. You can claim that. So basically, mm -hmm. in the three years, you only really need to pay about a thousand dollars for the wow. system. Wow. Right. Um, also, to energy audits and that kind of stuff. Uh, 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 you get back up to $2,000. So the government has put the framework in place to make this thing go far. But the barrier is the, the grid. Talk right? about the grid. The grid. <laughs> the grid is like the matrix. Mm. You know, you got all plug from this thing. Mm. The grid keeps people dependent on it. Right now, the grid, right, can make this thing even more affordable in Barbara. So if it costs $7,000, you know that $3,000 over that is batteries. Mm. So if we had feed in tariffs, in the Caribbean, where people could just have the body panels, small micro inverters, and feed this 200 watts straight into the utility grid, mm -hmm. it does two things. One, it reduces their need to import fossil fuel. Mm -hmm. Yeah? Two, it makes alternative energy far more cheaper for the households. So, mm -hmm. so it, it was slashed by 50% after the grid but allow Caribbean people to feed into it. Okay, so that doesn't happen right now? They don't allow the, the people who have solar energy on their houses to feed into the grid? Well, they're looking at pilot studies. And okay. if there's one way to delay things in Barbados, you fly about <laughs> <up> with it. <laughs> yeah, no, everything is a pilot study. Right. So we got a lot of pilots. Because I, <laughs> because I know in the, in the States, in the States, uh, you can have solar panels on your house and you can feed into the grid. Yes. And what happens is, is that the energy company will pay you for we'll energy. Pay you for it. Correct. And Correct. so I'm sure that's something that's going to happen yeah. very soon because yeah. the whole fossil fuel thing is just completely untenable. Yeah, well, we've got a lot of work to do and I think it's more an issue of politics than it is technology. Mm -hmm. uh, the grid itself was feeding solar technology into itself for the past 20 years. Mm. Yeah, a nine kilowatt system they were feeding into, them, oh, into really? themselves. But it took them almost, uh, not 20 years, let me say about 10 years uh, up at the ground, the Adams Airport. And, and, and they're still saying that, the grid's still saying that it needs to do more feasibility studies, yet they were feeding solar power into their own system for, for, for that amount of time. Uh, I understand that they're supposed to be running a pilot project of about 200 households. Mm -hmm to see how feasible it is again. Mm -hmm. So so I don't want to use the term conspiracy or anything like that mm -hmm. to make it seem like that. 
but I don't think it's profitable from their perspective. It's not it's not in the interest of their shareholders mm -hmm. for, for feeding terrorists and stuff like that. So I think that um, Caribbean people just got to be innovative and um, and beat the system. Um, through innovation. When you talked earlier, you said that you pass on some of your duties to the customer. What do you mean by that? All right, as um, as green companies, you and and solar panels and stuff like that. All this green technology is duty free. Yeah, a lot of people don't know that, but government doesn't charge you duties on it. You charge no VAT. taxes or anything like that. No import taxes for that. Well, we pay a VAT on everything okay. in Barbados and a one percent environmental levy. But as far as duties are concerned, mm -hmm. on solar panels and wind turbines, it's not. So the environment wow. from the the political framework is there. The, f the political framework supports it, but it is now the private, the banking, and the the grid system itself that that is not allowing this thing to to unfold. So so what we have to do to fight back is to uh, approach it more from a social a social angle. Yeah, and that's basically what we're doing is energy. Let's talk about training now. If somebody wants to be part of your company and learn the training necessary to get involved with this whole green economy, mm -hmm. what, what what would be required of them? Yeah, well, basically, we all the folks that start on our team right now, we, we train most of them, but we start the area efficiency. Yeah, and then when you finish with efficiency, then we carry you to the innovation side of things. Yeah, where we get you to be more hands-on and more practical. Uh, but knowledge is not going to help people with solar energy. It's a, it's a hands-on thing. It's a skill. Um, so people got to actually put on panels. They actually got to hook up things. And that is the way you got to learn. And um, you offer that opportunity yeah, for yeah, people. Yeah, we do that. And then um, all of that innovation. So, for example, a guy might come and we say to him, are you focused on designing this new street light? working off a of solar law, you focus on doing that. And in him wrestling with that, he learns uh, all his stuff. Because he got to deal with inver inverter and everything and size it and everything. Mm -hmm. So by the time he finished that project there, he comes out the other end, um, being able to understand how to put together different systems. And then finally then we moved to what we call the independence phase. And the independence phase, uh, we now push the lifestyle really, really hardcore. Like for example, we are introducing uh, electric cars, full electric cars to Barbados. Wow. Full electric cars that will be powered and recharged by these photovoltaic panels and by the wind. So you're okay. driving for free. MovementTunes.com, the number one site for positive music downloading.